Trains up there, on your right love. And please. And please. And please. On there. On your right. On your own right. And please. On your right. When I first come to London, like 1980, it's like uh, there's a lot of casual work. You can do all the cafes and restaurants and all that. 30, 35 pounds a day. Yeah, and then that get you your bed and breakfast in the night and your food and that, you know what I mean? You could live you could live up here in them days. You know, I'm reduced to this. <laughs> What's life in the underpass like? A boring. A boring. Boring. <coughs> We're not in this really, but it's what anybody got to do, you know. I just broke with it. Good. If you don't care for more ice, care for more ice, charge a pound, you charge a pound for the charger. Oh. You leave it there for the day to charge it. And it costs three pounds, don't huh? you? The phone only costs a pound, <laughs> three pounds. Yeah. So you charge it three times? Yeah. <laughs> Got price of the phone? Escalator up, escalator shame, escalator shame, yeah. yeah. I came down for the match and decided to stay. I've <laughs> oh, been a year on and off, I've been back like I said, I've been on back, back and forward home and everything. But like, uh, when my dad died a few years ago, like he sort of kept us as a family, family group. We'll see where went, that was it basically. Underground. Unfortunately, I've got a uh, brother who's an alcoholic. My brother who's a, he, well, he's not a junkie or something, but he dabbles with his drugs. Yeah? And my sister who sells drugs all the time. Some people just sit on the same pitch all day, all day, all day, just with a dog, you know what I mean? It's, it's a bit naughty, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I mean, same people who, ha who own dogs, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, like, you see me with dogs, but I only look after them for people, yeah? yeah? But, uh, me personally. Must be nice it's to have with... company, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have nice company, yeah. <laughs> well, I know a lot of people, like, you do use a dog, like, uh, as a tool, you know what I'm saying? They use it as a tool yeah. for begging, you know what I'm saying? Some people. Well, because people feel more sorry for the dog than the person. Yeah, it's a sad state of affairs when that's that happens. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a sad state of affairs, but that's how it actually happens. The animal lovers and that, you know what I mean? That's your trains, mate. Trains, up the escalator, mate. Trains, escalator same. Madrid. Eh? You know what Chelsea got through last night? Yeah? yeah. 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 From the first leg? Yeah? Barcelona, that was 0-0 from the first leg. You know, sir. 
You don't throw a toe yet. The Barcelona's won the second leg. That's what I'm saying when he played up. Three one the other leg. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. The yeah. Barcelona Chelsea. I think it's funny sometimes, like, you know what I mean? You're trying to give directions and, like, just standing there, like, and... Yeah. Everyone's lost in their little world. Yeah, lost in their own little worlds, yeah. But what I find London, uh, uh, you know, back home is very laid back, yeah? Here, everyone seems to rush everywhere. Yeah. yeah? They're all in a rush. I find if you could take your time, you get there quite a lot quicker, you know what I'm saying? You sharing your box? Eh? You sharing your box? No, that's yeah. Yeah. Mine after. Maybe that's why you're missing out, you haven't got a box. Uh, no, I don't use a box. <laughs> why not? Because it shows that you've got so you can, you can actually, right, like she goes begging's illegal, right? You have a cup in front of you, you can deny begging. Yeah, yeah but you've got a cup in front of you. That's a blade yeah, yeah, guilty, yeah, yeah. innit? <laughs> yeah, unless you actually eat it, because I, I do it pretty quiet, really. Yeah? yeah? Is it little change peas, little change peas? Yeah? He's not really hearing that from down there. But if I've got a cup in front of you, who one is? It's a guilty, innit? Well, what happens if you get caught? Basically, it's, it's madness, right? You've got, like, what I call it bed and breakfast, basically. Right, they'll lock you up for the night, you go to court in the morning, the judge says time served, yeah? yeah? Says time served on your way, I'll see you next time. Yeah, it's cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds to take you to court for a begging when nothing actually in effect happens. Right. Yeah, you get better breakfast or whatever, yeah? On your way, we'll see you next time. And then you wonder where all the funding goes to, eh? It seems like a waste of money, really. It is, it is to me, to me it is, yeah. yeah. Just like what I do, I sit down, give direction. You give me the gimme. You're offering a, a service. Well, yeah. I, I look at it that way, yeah, because not many people lost get lost down here. I do get the abuse here and everything. Well, like, you got, you got, I'm immune to it now, you know what I'm saying? From who? Just, what, just... From the public, like, you know, sometimes you're out on your drunk car. Night, yeah. people are drunk. You know, it could be any time, really, but mostly at night, you know what I'm saying? And I'll get a job, you tramp and all this stuff. Yeah? Get a life. I said, well, get yourself. A, 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 yeah? You mustn't have a life yourself if you're getting on a beat. You have to get a few stickers from it. How you get this off? I'm off your swine. You can do this, I've no nails with me. Not no good to me, I've got to be on computer, innit? Have you got an email address? Huh? Kerry Cross on the fast. <laughs> I don't know, it's like an institutionalised street, really. I've been out for so long, and this is like I said, this is all, all my friends out here. Everything, you know what I mean? The very first day it was announced that England had won, London had won the uh, Olympic bid. Within two hours, yeah, the front page headlines was, yeah, all homelessness will be off the street for the Olympics. Yeah? Twelve months before the Olympic start, all homelessness, uh, gay centre and hostel funding was cut by 40%. The hostels are closing across the board. Yeah? They've got what they call a, a no two nights out or something it's called. Yeah? But this is for like new faces. You know, like new people they see on the street. Yeah? Have they seen first night? On the second night they get offered uh, accommodation? Where's all these places all of a sudden coming from? 
Why have they not done this for years and years? Right? All of a sudden, because it's they deny it, it's anything to do with the Olympics. Of course it's to do with the Olympics. I know four now, there's more than four, but I actually know four hostels, but I actually close.